What's up guys, it's Cool Psycho Fishing and Hunting, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a squirrel tail trailer out of squirrel hair. So here's one that is finished. Well, actually I still need to put head cement on it. But then, this is what I use them for. I put them on spinners. And if you want to check out last videos, last video I was killing the trout on this lore except it was gold so we'll get into the materials you need right now so what you'll need to tie one of those trailers is first off you'll need a hook so you can just go and put this in the vise right here you'll need a vise preferably a rotary vise but this one isn't so i can show you how you can do one without a rotary vise you're gonna need your bobbin and thread i'm using black You'll need your whip finisher. You need a pair of scissors. You'll need some head cement. I'm using Loon Outdoors Hard Hard Head Clear. It's pretty good stuff. And then you'll need, of course, your squirrel tail. You can buy them or you can just go out and shoot squirrels. So what you're going to do first off, you're going to I probably should have this better position. So, you're going to start by making a few wraps, getting the thread onto the hook. Then you're just going to trim that right there. Okay, there we go. It don't have to be super thick. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your squirrel hair and you're going to get off a uh, Decent section. It's okay to use too much since you can get a lot of squirrel hair off of one thing. But you're going to cut so we can set this aside. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take this here and you're going to hold it and pull out any of the loose hair. Now what you're going to do is you're going to divide this into three piles. So just take some. Here's about a third. So now what we'll do with this. Get out all the loose stuff. Then we'll put. Trim up. This. To make it all equal length. Okay got that all trimmed up. Now we're going to put it. Right on here. We're going to take our thread. Pinch that hair down and we're going to pull it back some so it's out away from that thread eye now we're just going to wrap it up now with a rotary vise you'd be able to spin it but since I don't have a rotary vise what I'll do you just take this out real quick and just flip it flip the hook Clamp it shut. Do a few more wraps to cover up some of that squirrel hair. Make sure that's tight. And then you take about another one of the stacks of squirrel hair. So I have this pile. Divide it in about half. Then we're going to close this. Well, we're going to tighten it. And now we got it. all the loose ones out. We're going to make them all the same length by shortening up. And put this right on there and wrap this one on too. Wrap that up. Try to get all of the hair under the thread. So now take it out, flip it again. This will, you only have to flip it twice after the first time. Clamp that down nice and tight. What you can do, you can do this at the end too, but I'm going to do it right now so they don't get in the way. You can trim some of the hairs poking out by the eye. So then you're going to take the rest of your hair. Do the same thing you did with the other one. Get all the loose hair out. Cut it to make sure it's all the same length.
And then you're going to place it down there. And you're going to like do root loose wraps and then pinch the hair. So you all you get it all done with that. We just got a little sliver right here. Cover that up. Now you can go look around the fly, make sure no hair sticking out. Pretty good. Now you'll bring your thread into about the middle of the base. Pull some down. Now you're gonna whip finish. So you're just gonna. I like to whip finish two or three times just to make sure that it's good. So uh, we get that done. Whip finish two times. Now you're gonna cut your excess thread. Now what you can do is cut the hair that's left over sticking out past the eyelet. So then there you go, you have your squirrel tail trailer, but we're not done yet. So now what we're going to do is, this is way too long. So we're going to pinch it down and we're going to trim. Trim it a little bit. That's maybe still a hair long, so I'll trim it up a little bit more. There we go. Got that. Pretty good length. So now I'll go over. I can't really film the head cement since I don't really got a good outlet down here. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the head cement, you're going to open her up. It's just like a liquidy head cement. It comes with a brush. So then you just got to brush it on all around this. And then you're going to... So after you get head cement all on the thread, you don't want to get head cement on the hair. You just want to get it on the, on the thread. So then you're going to hold it and then you're going to take a hair dryer and hair dry it for about maybe close to a minute get and it'll solid it up and then you'll let it like just let your fly sit in your vise for a few hours and it will get fully good guys i just finished putting up head cement on it and we got the head cement there i hit it with the hair dryer for about a minute so it's decently hard right now but let it sit for a few hours and it will get completely solid so yeah if you guys are new don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah, hope this video helped, and see you next time.